Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. It has been an ongoing request to talk about what do I have on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it is. What do I have? I break them down according to notes or sections. So there's amber, there's nutty fragrances, coconut fragrances, chocolate, Middle Eastern, so forth, so on. So we're going to slowly go through them, or should I say video to video, I'm going to break them down to the ones that I have in each section. So for everyone who has asked, what do you have in your collection, Claudia? These videos are for you. All right, we are, we have made it to my honey collection. Um, I did a video and I'll make sure that I put it up in the cards for y'all to see of my favorite honey fragrances. But let's go into all the ones that are actually in my collection. Uh, we have to start off with numero uno, which is back to black. Back to black is your honey tobacco cherry. Uh, has a bit of a gingerbread note to it. This is great. So if you notice so far as we've been doing my collection, these are my loves, right? I had a couple of them where I had a multitude of fragrances, but these are the ones that I truly do love. Um, you will find that I always bring these on out uh, to do a lot of layering with them. But Back to Black is my first one. Now, this is All the Queen's Men by Fort, uh, Fort Manly. I've gotten so many people to buy this one. Uh, so, so many people. I wanted to make sure this was the right one because th this bottle also is very similar to uh, another one that I like, but it's um, amber. But this is all the Queen's Men. Uh, think dry fruit, rum, honey, and vanilla. Just <laughs> delicious is all I can tell you. Gorgeous on the skin. All right. Let's jump into an oldie but goodie. As you see that I've been having this bottle for a while because the juice is so delicious and golden and dark. And like, um, this is Scandal by Night. This is bitter orange, cherry, tuberose, pear, and honey. This is such a sexy fragrance. Even from how they designed the bottle to everything. This is such a sexy fragrance. Uh, so of course it had to stay in my collection okay so let's get back into another fragrance that you think would have been for men right this is a man pure havana uh white honey tobacco cacao amber and latamin delicious gorgeous 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 can be worn by both men and women This is newer to my collection. I want to say it came out in 2024 or maybe late 2023. I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is Mill Estes by uh, Navitus. This is, again, another honey, dark, uh, dry fruit. But this one has apricot. So that's what made this one different from all the Queen's men. Uh, some similarities. There is some similarities, but that apricot takes it up a notch and uh, rum and saffron and toffee is in it. This is a really sticky fragrance. Um, so you have to like Gourmand, I would believe with this one because you got like Madagascar vanilla, you got dark chocolate and taffy. So it's for a person who really enjoys sweet scents. This one is Serge Laton, Serge Laton Shakura. Uh, think tobacco leaf, like the, like the tobacco leaf that goes into a pipe that's sweet, like almost sweet tobacco, right? If, uh, just gorgeous. Uh, so tobacco leaf, honey, amber, and, uh, it has some sandalwood in it, but mostly to me, it's just that, that like sweet tobacco kind of cigar. Like you ever think of a cigar that's like dipped in maple or honey? That's what this fragrance reminds me of. All right, here is a gorgeous Tom Ford. This is gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous Tom Ford fragrance. 
really wish I would have got a bigger bottle because it's, it's becoming really hard for me to find this one. So I use this one very sparingly. Uh, pink pepper, mandarin orange, the honey, orange blo um, blossom. What I'm realizing is orange blossom works very well with honey, but this is a gorgeous scent. All right, this is newest to my collection. Uh, actually was introduced to this fragrance uh, from Nika uh, here, uh, well actually on Instagram. Uh, and this one is Eau de Mystique uh, by Whisker. It, it, it has a green mandarin, so think of it like a unripe mandarin. So it's not really citrusly heavy, but it does have a citrus note. The blood orange works um, great in it. This has dry plum, and then they top it off with the honey note. So that honey note is in that base of it. So the honey is like sticky honey. So this one is really good. Let me see if I can get a good, so you can get a good picture of it. Because I feel everyone should really try this one. Now this one here, I have to, I have to really keep <laughs> close on my shelf. I love this one on my husband. I love, love, love this one on my husband. But it smells good on women too, but I love this one on my husband. So this is my going out scent for him and it's uh, Noxos by George Uh It's a lemon, lavender, cinnamon uh, fragrance with honey and tonka bean in it. But this smells amazing on male chemistry. It's good on women, but it's amazing on male chemistry. Okay, to round off my collection, this might be one of the very few Zyras that I still have left in my collection. Uh, this is Rich Warm Addictive by Zyra, and it's honey, coconut, tobacco, and sandalwood. It's, the, it's most of the notes that's in it. This came from their tobacco collection line. It was really good. Um, I think they came back out with it, but when they came back out with it, 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 it just didn't hit like the original one did when it first came out. So that's why I still have this one and refuse to get rid of it. But um, I don't really have too many Zara's, but I did keep this one. All right, I hope you have enjoyed it so far. We only went over uh, probably just one category in this video. I make sure that I list right here what it is that we were talking about. If you know of more fragrances that I probably need to add to my collection, or you have some fragrances that fit into this category that I haven't talked about yet, put it in the comments and let everybody else know what is in your collection. Again, this is a video to let everyone know, I'm doing several videos to what is behind me. That has been the burning question. What is behind you, Claudia? So we're gonna talk about it. Stay tuned because I'm going to continue going with these type of videos. See you in the next video.